The 2020 F1 season is one of the most unique and intense seasons ever. There was a revised race schedule, driver substitutions, unexpected winners and of course some records have been broken. At the end of it all, who were the standout drivers of the year? And in this video, we will take a look at the top 5. We are leaving out Lewis and Max from this ranking and will focus on the rest of the field where it was much more competitive. Do watch the complete video to find out more and you're welcome to comment your top 5. It's completely understandable if you have other drivers in mind, but these are the drivers I think impress the most considering their machinery and their performance against their teammates. Hi there, I'm Chili and I bring you the latest updates and reviews on F1 and F2. Do click the subscribe button for more interesting content that is coming up on the channel. His one-off race with Mercedes could have easily been a glorious first victory for George, if not for the blunder by the team. His performance in Shakir proved he is ready to race among the frontrunners. This year, Russell did much more than just impress in a Mercedes. He dragged the Williams into Q2 nine times and came close to scoring points at both Mugello and Imola. This year, he has been outstanding in qualifying and built a reputation as a one-lap specialist, along with consistent race performances too. He did make errors once or twice, but overall, he has been excellent. But in a Williams, how much can he do? He just needs a faster car. George is definitely a future superstar, and we cannot wait to see him in a Mercedes and compete with the likes of Max and Charles. After a mixed 2019 season, Pierre Gasly had an amazing comeback in 2020. His maiden victory at Monza will be remembered as one of the best moments of the year. Amid the chaos around him, he emerged as a race leader and resisted intense late pressure from Carlos Sainz to take his first victory in F1. Monza is not the only highlight of the year. He had some remarkable drives across the season. Gasly achieved 10 point scoring finishes across the 17 round campaign and finished in 10th place in the Drivers' Championship with 75 points, with some outstanding drives at Spa, Portugal and Bahrain. This year's Ferrari has been their worst car in the last four decades. But Charles Leclerc managed to bring out the absolute maximum from the Draghi SF1000, both in qualifying and in the races too. Leclerc's performances have saved Ferrari from an even worse championship. Considering Alfa Tauri were just 24 points behind Ferrari, he finished the season in 8th place in the championship with 2 podiums. He also dominated teammate Sebastian Vettel. On the flip side, he continued to make some silly errors, which were costly in the races, especially the first lap clashes in Styrian Grand Prix and Bahrain crashing out at Monza and hitting Lance Stroll at Sochi. He could have finished much higher in the championship without these mistakes. He is still evolving and maturing as a driver. And 2020 has been a season of endurance at Ferrari. Daniel Ricciardo and Renault decided to part ways even before the first race of the season. And the reaction from team principal Cyril Abedable was not that pleasant. But Daniel has been a professional till the very end and displayed some strong performances both in qualifying and the races, especially on race day, as he finished in the top 10 14 times along with two podiums. This season is easily one of Ricardo's best in his F1 career. He also dominated his teammate Esteban Ocon. What an outstanding season Sergio Perez had in 2020. Despite missing both the races at Silverstone, Sergio Perez achieved 4th place in the championship and scored points in every race he finished. The most striking achievement is his consistency which helped him race up the championship order. After achieving a brilliant 2nd place finish in Turkey, he followed it up with a remarkable last to first maiden victory at the Shakir Grand Prix. 2020 has been Chaco's strongest season in his F1 career and he fully deserves his opportunity to drive for the Red Bull team. It will be fascinating to see how he shapes up against Max Verstappen and how the Red Bull team can challenge Mercedes in 2021. <music>